Wilson West Falls. I mean, this is a guy who got fourth at Winter Game Fest, 13th at Apex 2013, seventh at NorCal Regionals, 17th last year here at Evo, 17th at Apex, seventh at the Skate Tower 3, 21st at MLG Anaheim. So he's pretty good. And I'm not quite sure who he's up against, but, you know, they certainly are playing against a player with a humongous resume. So. Let's see what we can do. Especially if he's a Dr. Mario main, it's going to be tough. Uh, but he's already going pretty solid. Uh, and Joyful, one thing you're going to want to do is you're kind of going to want to be extremely, extremely aware of the of the latest game with Falco. Because while his laser arc is just horizontal and cut off extremely well, you already know where it's coming from, what direction it's going in, you know where it's going to go. Your pills are going to be bouncing at 4 times range because you have a lot of time to adjust in midair. So, that's one thing I'm going to want to see from him. Also, the importance of the throw game and what you can do off of it. Whether it's going to a chain grab, a up smash, a down down smash, or a forward air, depending on DI and things of that nature. Even a forward air close up stocks at, you know, around 80%. You have a lot of options, so that grab game has to get going. So you have to be extremely aware, just condition them with the, with the uh, jab game as well. There's two jabs, jab down smash, things like that. Yeah, now for Falco, you're going to just see a lot of spacing. Every time Falco manages to get those up tilts, those back airs, he's going to try to convert as hard as possible. As you can see from Zoo, doing a good job of keeping Dr. Mario in the air. A character like, you know, Dr. Mario, don't want to get crouch canceled down smash because it'll put you in a precarious situation. Of course, Dr. Mario being extremely, extremely ground based character. And he's going to have to play this one a lot more defensive, a lot more defensively. So. He's waiting basically for Zoo to mess up, which he's not going to get too many options, but we're definitely going to be looking for those here and there. And even if he throws in a couple of cakes just to try and mess up the, uh, the laser approach. I need to see that, but Zoo, that time he goes for it, but Zoo is still gonna count afterwards. Yeah, he's doing a good job of just fishing for a lot of short hop neutral layers. He wasn't even tossing out any lasers, not giving the Dr. Mario any opportunity to power shield him or cape him back. Zoo, of course, is fantastic. He's still doing a bit of the uh, dustless uh, dash dancing. It's really hard to do. I like what Zoo just did there after he got the aerial. Since, um, and Joyful, he eyed away. Un uh, disallowing uh, Shine follow up. What he did was he went for a grab. Here we go again. The laser approach is something you have to negate in this matchup. Whether you're full jumping over it, but Zoo right now is he's bloodthirsty. He's looking for the first four stock in Evolution 2014. Last year was Reno. Oh. This year is it going to be Zoo? <laughs> Not yet. Wait, we hear the crowd screaming. Oh, and a joyful gets four stops, the first one here, this weekend. We're not going to see, we're going to see a few more of this. I feel like it. Now, I, if I'm Zoo, I probably would ban FD out of fear of a chain grab, of course. Um, but I, I don't know how I feel about the, the Yoshi's, personally, I like it. Uh, as, as a Dr. Mario player. As a Dr. Mario player, yeah, because getting anything to convert into some solid stage position. And if you have Falco on the stage, especially this Doc, after you see a shine on the top, you can convert those into just quick edge guards with the back air, with tape, smoke the back airs. Falco's going to have a really, really hard time recovering, but Sue just holds center stage, and the Joy Box will be able to get him too far off. Looks like and Joyful does not exactly have the best handle on how to deal with Falco's lasers. And Falco's approaches in general. There we go. Those are the backers we're going to see. And Zoo is just stepping all over him with these down airs. Oh, so be careful. So we're seeing different times of back airs, whether they're early on or late. This up to recognizing, there we go. Oh, didn't have to do that much because okay. <laughs> not to recover isn't that much, but. But yeah, he's gonna need those back airs to just close out these stocks, give him these edge guard situations. If he knows the illusion is coming, you throw more back airs. If you know the uh, firebird is coming, you throw more back airs or a cape, depending on what you think they're going to do. Even if you're out there early on the illusion, they're facing to the stage, beat them out there with a cape, turn them around immediately and watch them 
go away their own doom, so. Alright, Sue needs to calm down right now. Sue's having fun right now. <laughs> nice, Spacey. And, and Joyful has not been able to get anything started. I, I think he's certainly flustered. I mean, we're seeing him with Zell chances here and there. But... Sue just pinning him into the ground with all these stairs. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Nice fair. Oh, I didn't know he would be able to squeeze that in there. Yeah, I think he just expected. Hey, I have nothing left to lose at this point. Might as well see if I can get anything started. Probably if he had uh, confirmed on a bit earlier to continue to follow up with an up air and maybe even um, have smash money on the platform. But, you know, these situations, they make decisions extremely quickly. And now you put the pressure on. You need. It's tough, yeah. And it's done. You know? okay. And Joyful definitely needs that jab game. Because the jab makes this dock.